On tonight's show, Lindsay Hinger, the Toastmasters, and musical guest, Ancestor. Tonight on CT we have Lindsay Hinger, a local performer and teacher. Um, can you tell our audience a little bit about what you do? Um, well, I was born and raised in Clymer, New York, and I've been performing uh, for the past nine years. And just recently, um, I entered a contest called Chautauqua's Got Talent, mm -hmm. and I became a finalist. And so after that ended, I got a lot of buzz and reviews about doing some classes and then uh, shortly after that I entered a Quarry's Got Talent and uh, took the first place and now I'll be teaching classes aside from all the other wonderful things I do in the area. I'm also involved in a show called Chautauqua Tonight. Oh, haven't heard of that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also I'll be uh, working on doing a, a play for the Spire Theater this fall. So, oh, wow. lots to do. Busy, busy, huh? Mm -hmm. um, so exactly what is this hula hooping class that you put on? Uh, well, hula hooping has definitely been something that's transcended from the normal 60s hula hooping. I'm sure everybody knows what that is, you know, the standard just standing there and a hoop going around your waist. Well, it's kind of altered since then. Mm -hmm. So uh, now you do tricks and you throw it in the air and I... Uh, you know, I, I use uh, light-up uh, toys, which look really cool in the dark, or I even put on some fire and really give people a show. Oh, wow. So, it's okay. lots of fun. Fire. <laughs> fire. It's um, dangerous. Uh, yeah, actually, earlier you were showing me some of that. that I was, yeah. yeah. You can be a pro. Um, let's cut to that. Show the audience. Okay. So Paul, what you want to do is have a nice straight stand and hold your hoop like this. Okay, good so far. Okay, now what you want to do is put it to the hump of your back, this little crest area here. Stack your feet at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And what you're going to do is when you push the hoop, you're going to bob your knees like this, keeping a nice rhythmic motion. And then just let your hoop go and just go. Keep working it. See, it's all on the hips. There you go, kind of. Put a little more force behind it. Yep. <laughs> Almost there. Good job. Yes. Work that hoop. Oh. Work that hoop. Better watch out. <laughs> Got some competition. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, you ready to advance? Huh? You ready to advance? Sure. Okay, now you're going to do this. That? Yep, you're just going to pick it up with your hand and put it up behind okay. your head. <laughs> and back down to your body. Yes. Go. Oh, almost. Keep going, keep going. Fancy work. Yeah. Oh. That's great. Technical. Didn't even see that coming. Nope. Didn't, did you? Well, that was awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you okay? It was a lot, yeah. You okay? It was, okay. It was interesting. It was my first time. Okay. You should um, probably ice your knee. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, w that was fun. Uh, where can our viewers find out more about these classes? Um, well, I mean, you can go on Facebook 
and uh, find me under Hula Hoop Classes by Lindsay Hanger. I'll be teaching classes all throughout the summer at the Spire Theater in Jamestown, Infinity Performing Arts for a kids summer camp program, and at the Quarry Y, I'm doing adult, kids, and classes, Hula Hoop classes, and uh, art classes as well, so oh, wow. lots it, going on this summer. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, thank you for coming yes, on the show. Thank you so much for having yeah. me. It's a pleasure. Good evening. At Toastmasters, we provide support to each other and enhance our abilities to speak in public. Let us demonstrate some of the key elements to giving a good speech. Recently, we were asked to provide some advice to the king. Now, first impressions are very important. You want to be professional. You want to be careful of what you wear and how you look. You want to enhance your presentation. Oh, no. You may be using notes, so you don't want them to be difficult to manage, but you want them to be comfortable. And don't make the silly mistake of grabbing the wrong papers on your way out the door. When you get nervous, you will probably get a dry mouth, so it's important to have something to drink on hand. Try to avoid beverages that are sugary. They'll just make you thirstier. No, 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 not juice. Clear liquids are best. Once you are set and ready to go, how do you cope with your fears of being in public? Well, you may have heard the old idea of imagining your audience is in front of you in their underwear. Okay, maybe that's too scary. We can leave that one out. The best way to gain confidence is to practice your speech with friends and know that what you have to say is important. And it is also a good idea to begin with a little humor. This has been a presentation of Chautauqua Talks, a chapter of Toastmaster International. Tonight on the show, we have the Toastmasters. And since you guys were gonna be on the show, I figured I'd bring, I'd supply the toast, or the toaster and the toast, um, toast and bread. I don't have much of it, but. Huh. What? To really? Toastmasters, right? Why would you do that? Don't you toast bread? No, it's not, not at really. All. No. No, not exactly. Well, what is it? What is it that you do? All right, I'm Ned Lindstrom, and I'm president of Chautauqua Talks Toastmasters International. And we work together to learn and develop public speaking and leadership skills. I got into Toastmasters because I enjoy talking with people. Uh, okay. And I also enjoy it even more when they listen. <laughs> okay, so giving toasts giving speeches. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm Laura Moss. I am the Vice President of Public Relations and Marketing for Chautauqua Talks Toastmasters. I've been a member for about one year and my job is to recruit new members and get word about our club out into the community. Uh, my name is Bethany Robson and I am the Vice President of Education in Chautauqua Talks Toastmasters and my role is to integrate individual personal goals in developing leadership and communication skills with the club cohesion and club goals to function as a club we as a as a chapter of Toastmasters International we organize our meetings around a structure that introduces both the teaching and learning and the feedback loop, receiving information that it, um, informs us about how we're doing, what, what progress we're making, and especially where we could sharpen our skills even better. What I like about what you're doing is you invited us to be on the show. And I really appreciate that because you're collaborating with all sorts of elements of the community. Uh, ours being an educational element, but I know you're also 
interviewing all sorts of other groups of people, uh, the theater people, uh, people who are doing fundraisers, and uh, I really want to thank you for inviting us to be here on the show because it's, this is a special opportunity for us to get, um, get in front of a camera and learn how to do this. Get our names out yeah. there, get our organization out there. Um, well, I know a lot of people are kind of nervous about getting on, on in front of the camera, and um, so it's kind of interesting to see how people are kind of learning what this environment entails. Because I never was in this kind of environment with the camera either. I was more of a film actor, so you didn't interact with the camera, you didn't interact with the audience. Um, so it's been a little bit of a learning experience. It's one of the things that we offer. We have such a variety of situations that we practice speaking in, whether it's talking one-on-one, -on -one, say a job interview, or a group like this, or giving a speech at work, or some kind of a presentation. Mm -hmm. Communication skills affects every part of our life, and we have a lot of things, and it really, that we can learn, there's a lot of things we can share, and it really makes it a lot easier when you can practice ahead of time, yeah. get some basic pointers down, little things that we can learn from each other, especially when you're practicing in front of friends that give you encouragement. <laughs> All right. Um, so for the viewers, when and where do you guys meet? We meet at the Spire Theater on Tuesdays twice a month, the first and third Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. And the public is welcome to visit and check it out. Please visit and check it out. You guys have a Facebook to, to kind of... We do. With Just talk what talks. Okay. Yeah. And we have a website. Okay. And we're on LinkedIn. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for thank inviting you. us. Thank you. Should we eat some toast? Sure. Okay. All right. Where's the peanut butter? Oh, I forgot the peanut butter. Why does Ryan always leave me all alone? I heard this joke once by this horrible comedian. He said, did you hear about the kid whose parents were so poor they couldn't afford to buy him a goldfish? So they got him a silverfish? Maybe that Asian lady will come by and feed me again. I hope someone cleans my ball soon. Smelling fishy in here. For the love of God, would somebody get me out of here? Ladies and gentlemen, Ancestor.
ancestor. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Woo. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, and everyone else, check out the new album. It's about time coming out this summer. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah.